want to do it. Uh, 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 Who says uh, I want to do it with a fish lady? I wish to not explore. I mean, I don't. But it'd be the oh, you know, I'm I'm being pulled in by some weird pink mystical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm digging it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, babe. Well. There's about to be seven plants tonight because I'm about to destroy your angels if you got Oh my ah! Our work is finished. Oh wow, oh that's a lot of uh Yeah I'm gonna I can't even watch this. Hey guys, what's up? This is Carver and today, welcome back to the Minecraft Mod Showcase. Hello, by the way. And today, we are beginning- And today, we're gonna be doing the Ice and Fire mod. Now, if you don't know what this mod is, I feel like we've been here before. Have we been here before? Have we- have- have we actually been here before? I feel like I've done the whole thing where, like, if you guys don't know what this mod is, explanation, explanation, something, something after that. So today, we are gonna be doing the Ice and Fire mod, besides me just contemplating what the hell I'm doing. Um, the Ice and Fire mod, pretty much what it is, is simply the ultimate- and greatest medieval experience of your life. It's more than just a dragon's mod at this point, even though dragons are pretty much the whole selling point behind the whole mod. It's it's amazing. It's got a bunch of mythical beasts. It's got a awesome, bunch of awesome mobs that really kind of take me takes me back to like the old 1.7.10 days when the mobs were in nuts, in, in insane, insane and nuts, in nuts. It was amazing. But without a lot of mobs being awesome and forgotten back then, this mod sort of revitalized a lot of that cool, you know, creative, mythical mobs that they had in ancient, if you will. It's just a lot of cool stuff, especially good old Sanu here. I like Sanu. Yeah? You peaceful? You like this place? I know, you'll get up real soon. Yeah, I know, you, you hungry. Alright, so if you guys... I know. If you guys don't know, things are complicated. There's, a, there's actually a little pixie ghost over there, but we won't bother with her. And, uh, it's the news. It's the news there. Okay. So, originally, what I wanted to do first, is I wanted to start it off with the mobs first, and let the dragons be saved for the best for last. But, I decided I might as well get all the dragon stuff out of the way, because there's actually a lot more things to the dragons, and I know dragons are kind of like, kind of dragons are kind of my favorite thing here out of this whole mod. So, let's start with the dragons. So, number one thing you want to know about the dragons is, obviously, you know nothing about the dragons. So, we're going to have to start off with the very, very... Very, very first thing, which is stage zero of all this, all the importance that comes along with ice and fire. So, the starter pack. The one thing you're gonna need to learn how to make first, of course, is a bestiary, which honestly is the best thing out of any mod. If they have a mod guide overall in the game, it's, it's number one for me. It's like, it's already like the best thing ever. It's either 3D models or mod guides, because half the time, not all of us want to pull, pull up a wiki and Find the map to the secret X on the golden troll's ass. Also, I can learn how to tame a frog to order to mate with another golden frog to create a pink one that makes it super rare. This is a bad analogy. But the point is, is that I'm glad that there's a bestiary for ice and fire. Thumbs up to you guys who are working up on ice and fire. Especially since you're working on the lightning dwagon. Anyways, so... In order to make the bestiary, you're gonna need at least three things. And those three things are the same things, being the manuscripts. And in order to get the manuscripts, you're gonna need to also one, put this into this formation, so that way you can create yourself the bestiary. Now, once you get the bestiary, well, actually, first, in order to get the manuscripts, which I <laughs> can't new, shut up. Um, in order to get the manuscripts, you actually can find them in a few other places, which are the dragon caves, the dragon's nests, and sometimes even villages. Very rare occasions though, but the manuscripts are actually very rare, although they're not that too, too rare, considering all the other things that have a certain rare va rarity value to them. Speaking of dragon's nest, allow, allow me to show you guys a few places you can visit at your stay on the Ice and Fire mod. Alright, cool. Rule number one. If you find yourself in front of a big giant hunk of ice, this is the glacier biome. It is literally just made out of snow and ice. Yeah. This is it. Actually, there's also a better chance to also find ice dragons here, considering you're in the ice biome. Especially, you can find the frost lilies, which we'll go over with that, what this is used for in a bit. But, of course, there's also ice villages where the snow villagers do lay dormant. I don't actually know if they're in here. Are they in here? Yeah, they got little ice tables and such. 
I think there's also some... Are there some buildings stuck in here? Alright, but yeah. Glacier biome, snow villagers. They're actually not seen here yet, but we'll show them in a bit. But, I do want to show you guys one cool thing, though, of course. And that, my friends, is the dragons... It's not here. But, oh, there it is. This place is where dragons lay dormant. It literally just looks like a hunk of poop. And they actually make these. These dragons, they actually make their own nests. They burn everything here. There's even gold sometimes that you can get. You can even harvest the gold in order to get gold nuggets. But there will also be chests around the, the dragon, or like wild dragon's nest. You can even get like rare things such as books. And uh, book with sword. Yeah, yeah, that's always cool. Uh, uh, helmets, sometimes a block of obsidian. And uh, this dragon nest kind of sucks. Because I haven't found any manuscripts. But this is actually a, an ideal place so where you'd find manuscripts for um for your bestiary and manuscripts once you actually just get three you don't want to stop there because you actually want to keep finding manuscripts to complete your bestiary but yeah dragon's nest now let's go continue over the bestiary tuck oh you're still hey buddy you're still stone oh i did it sanu the evil the evil pixie is slain so once you actually get the bestiary you'll notice that it won't have well, all of, this, all of this. This is pretty much the creative bestiary where it has all the everything from ranging from the mobs and also what to do to tame your dragon and such. But when you actually get the normal bestiary in vanilla, you're not going to have jack. So you're pretty much going to just have the introduction and that's pretty much it. However, it will tell you actually a good deal of information considering it is the introduction. And especially sapphire, which sapphire is very important. It may... We had lapis and they didn't make any use out of lapis. Once again proves my point that lapis is useless. Agreed, Sanu. Once you do get the bestiary, however, you're gonna need to also make a lectern. Now, in order to make a lectern, you're gonna need uh, two pieces of block, oh, two pieces, two pieces of block of wood planks, and then one book, and then you get yourself the lectern, or just wood planks and whatnot, blocks and pieces of wood planks. I made it complicated. I'm sorry. So yeah, once you get yourself a lectern, you're then gonna right-click it, and then you're gonna go inside it, and then once you have your, uh, <laughs> go inside, <laughs> you know, because, uh, ooh, yeah, okay. So once you get your bestiary, and once you get another page of the manuscript, what you can simply do here, and let's say if I had happened to find one on that nest that we just, uh, discovered out of thin air, you can then put your manuscript in there, and then once that's done, you will have the manuscript loaded into your bestiary in moments' time. Which actually, moments time is really, literally 10 seconds. I think that was 10 seconds. But now I got information on the Gorgons, which I don't know if it's actually in order, because I think I got Gorgons last time. So I guess Gorgons are first, but Gorgons are the one things that we're going to start off with first, since Gorgons, it's Medusa. Gorgons are literally, uh, it's, it's a snake lady that can turn you into stone. So without further ado, we're going to continue on the dragons, because I'm not getting off path. I'm not getting off topic. You think I'm dumb. You thought I was going to get off topic. Yeah, yeah, you thought that. Yeah, you thought poorly of Carpin. This is a redemption arc for him. So now that we got all the, the, the bestiary stuff out of the way, let's finally go over dragons. Now, dragons are sort of, sort of in some way complicated, mainly because there's two different types of dragons. And I'll just say it straight out, it's dragon gang, gang warfare out here. Ice dragons don't like red dragons because red dragons are fire is crap. And because they're red, the blue dragons hate them. So, but therefore, because the blue dragons are blue, the red dragons hate them. It's a blood crypt dragon world we have here, ladies and gentlemen, until the purples arrive. Now that we got that out of the way, there are actually five different stages of dragons that you need to uh, go through. But we'll go over that later. But right now, as you can see, we have a chest full of these amazing dragons. And of course, dragon skills you can, which you can get if you kill a dragon. Now, the one thing you need to know about dragons is that you can't... Sanu, shut up. The one thing you can need to know when you when it comes to getting dragons is that you can't actually tame a dragon. The only way you're actually able to tame a dragon is by from getting them by birthing them into this world. Yes. Whether you're a man or woman or it or whatever gender you specify, you must give birth to a dragon. That's actually really cool too. Come on, let's show you. There are four different types of dragon eggs or four different types of colors for each dragon class. So, of course, the ice dragons have you know, ice-like, you know, dragon eggs. You got the light bluish, you got the white, you got the silver, and of course you got just blue. Or in this case, sapphire, but I... It, it's blue. Because in that if that was sapphire, this might as well be just called ruby. Might, which, which might as well just be called ruby dragon. Why, why you gotta call this sapphire and this one's just red? Might as well go the extra mile. And for the fire dragons, of course, we got red, green, or red emerald, sorry, bronze, and of course, gray, which... You know, red dragons got more, 
you know, color va variation, while the ice dragons kind of stay within their, you know, you know, their, their color scheme, if you will. I guess it's more of the sense that, you know, the, the ice dragons are pure, while the, 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 the fire dragons are all chaotic and, you know, colorful. Ice dragons hate color! I'm gonna get me a sapphire and red dragon here. So, pretty much once you get yourself these uh, two different types of dragons. Now, the one thing actually I found out on the wiki is um, they actually will fight each other even though you tame both of them. But the thing is, I actually haven't found a problem with both the red and the blue dragons when I tame both of them. They uh, actually are pretty chill. Vanilla, can, can you not? What do you want? I will what? not watch you birth. No, today, I will not be giving birth to dragons. You will. But me? Yes! What? what? You will. Thank you. I'm glad you agree with them. Okay, so pretty much... Once you actually do find a dragon egg, whether it's from a dragon nest or a dragon cave, which most likely you're gonna find them from stage five dragons, which <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna show them what a stage five dragon looks like. I'm gonna throw you at one next time. You ready for that? I don't like you. I know many people do. Anyways, so once good. you start off with the uh, with the ice dragon, the one thing you need to do with an ice dragon is, of course, you're gonna need to just submerge it in water, which is pretty easy. So all you need to do is have yourself like a, you know, a two block deep hole and then fill it with the water, and then you just place your egg right there, and then all of a sudden. It will be encased in ice. Like, any minute now. Any minute now. This thing should be encased in ice, but it's- Oh, there you go. So yeah, now the process of it being born has begun. So now, once it's- Only the sad thing about this, though, is that when the dragon's born, it has a chance to drown. Or at least that's how I feel. So, if your dragon starts drowning, or if you feel like it's gonna drown, just make sure you have a little opening for it, just in case, so you can, like, slide out. You know. Make a little womb if you have to. So we can wait, slide wait, out wait, easily. Wait, wait, what the hell? A, a womb? My children are old enough to know what a womb is. Come on, man. Don't be, don't be silly. Uh, so all you need to do at this point is put down some nether rack on the bottom, which I recommend, and then just light it with a flint and steel, and then you'll notice the dragon... Can I be allowed out? ...start to riddle out, rither out of its egg. Now, these actually take, like, maybe five minutes before they actually come out at, like, my... my ugh, at max. So maybe, like, maybe I would say about maybe five to... Oh. Or actually three to five minutes, and then the dragon... What do you want? Can I be allowed out? No. No, your food. Your what's for dinner? You're gonna feed them. I, I don't have any food. I, I made a snow. Look, the wait, ice wait, dragon's wait, obviously snow. not they, gonna they eat grass. Oh, they don't eat snow. The, the grass is for the fire dragon. No. You're what's for dinner for the ice no! dragon. No. And maybe for the fire one in case he gets curious. Enjoy. No. All right. So while the dragons are being born into this world, let's finally actually spawn in some dragons that you'll get to actually. Actually, I think we have to wait for these drip boys to show up in the world. So actually, we'll wait for them. How are you enjoying the incubation process, Vanilla? I'm about to be eaten by you four dragons. How do you- I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna dragon kill you yet. You don't have to run? Look, they're not even coming out yet. Dude, honestly, I think this is a miracle. I'm just waiting to see them get bored. Now that we got- uh, It's been a while since these dragons- I think it's maybe been about like three or four minutes already. <laughs> Shut up! It's been about like, like three minutes already, or maybe four, five minutes. This fire- the fire dragon, I feel like, should have been like out already. I mean, this is on fire. Like, he wants to get out. This one's just like, chilling. No pun intended. But like this one, like I feel like he's gonna die if he doesn't get out of the fire. I mean, then again, I guess it's like a little test. If they can't stand the heat, they're dead. They're not fit to be in this world. I can't say I don't agree. Well, it's brutal like that for dragons. Dragons got a tough neighborhood in life. If one dragon doesn't like the other one, dude, it's life or death. Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? All right, sir. Well. Why are you making noises? Stop, Burn stop, knuckle! Stop, stop, stop it, no. What is wrong with you? Burning knuckle! Hey, I, I said stop! What's up? Burning knuckle! Stop it! Dragons, can you come out ready? This has been longer than freaking five minutes, it feels like now. I would say this maybe be, maybe around like six. Few six minutes? I would say few is like the best estimate for this, but honestly, few is not accurate. I would say six minutes. First off, they're wyverns. Well, you gotta be a buzzkill. And secondly, maybe I'm chained soon to be deaded. Oh yeah, yeah, like the like the fish lady, right? Like she didn't tear into my insides, it and you know. It was a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, it was pleasurable for someone, not me. Hey, me, buddy. Give in to Burn the knuckle. Breathing. Oh yes, breathing process. It's yes. just Ken with the burning ah. knuckle. Oh, don't look at me. I didn't kill him. It was the Flint Steel's fault. Come on, guys. Be born in this world already. It's been like a good hour. Come on. You know you wanna. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, Daddy wants to play Dragon Tales. This is fucking weird. But no, I said baby talking would actually work with the dragons. Oh, yes! You are born! Oh, lovely! Yes, a fine dragon! And you can also pick them up too. But yes, behold! If you right click them, you can actually pick them up. Ah, yes. Fine specimens. Yes. Now, the baby dragons actually won't fight each other. At least from what I've seen. But. You need to be careful because they're actually really delicate. Since they're, even though they're dragons, they're still babies. So yes, this is my ice dragon. I'm gonna call you Snowball. Snowball two. Mainly because Snowball the second died. No, 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 no. That's not. That's not. That's how Snowball died. That's how Snowball one died. Ah! Fearsome dragon, welcome to the world. Hello, hello, buddy. I'm gonna call you Shen Long. Oh, yeah, Shen Long. No, you can't open doors. What you guys doing? Hey, let's split you guys up for now before you guys become too friendly. I'm gonna take the ice dragon. You know what? Let's make the ice dragon's home over here. Actually, no, this is the mo this is the mob showcase area. Hold on, hold on. Mob showcase. I know you can actually put more than one dragon on you, but I haven't found a way to do that yet. But yeah, if you also shift right click them, you can actually show if they're hungry, uh, what stage they're in. Right now, they're in stage one, so they're like babies. But you can also put armor on them if you want. But I don't know if the armor will fit on these guys. Come here, buddy. Come here, let's go, let's go take you to the, actually to the Hippocampus, which is actually the first mob we're going to go over soon. Here, you go go play with Hippocampus. Here, go, 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 go play in the pool with him. Why are you being so fucking difficult? Come here. There we go. Yeah, you have fun. Look at him. He can't move. He's having fun. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put you over yonder. Now, the one thing that I actually want to show you guys here real quick is actually there are other items that can help you control your dragon. Now, I actually have another dragon that is stored. Oh, it's a female. I didn't even know that. But yeah, it's a stage 5 dragon. I'll show it off real quick. But, oh, real soon. But right now, what I want to do is I actually want to make these dragons sit so that way they don't cause too much havoc. So this dragon, in order to make him sit, you can use a dragon command step, which is honestly the best tool in the game. Because if you were to right click them, obviously you'd be able to pick them up. But right, look at him. Look how peaceful he is. What a cute dog. Let's go to the other one who's playing in the pool. Hey, Snowball. Did you drown yourself? Oh, there you are. Okay, you know what? You get to stay on top of this. Yeah? Do me a favor and stay. Now, there are actually other modes you can actually make them do, which is obviously, you know, wander, uh, escort. As dragons can actually escort you. <laughs> and finally, of course, you can, make, you can make them sit. Or stay in this case. Now, the dragons, they're pretty peaceful. So, obviously, the, right now, if I shift right click them, you can see what's, uh, what their stats are. And right now, he's been zero days old, stage one. And the cool thing about them is you actually can put armor on them if you want. But, while well, now, that, now that the dragons are born, let's finally go over the feeding process with the dragons. Which is actually staying in the beast area, but because I'm such a great and lovely man. Um. We're gonna learn it. We're gonna teach you how to make the dragon meal, which the dragon meals are pretty much what they're used in order to feed the dragons and actually, actually. <laughs> now, once you feed them enough dragon meals to them, they'll actually reach max stage five, which is the biggest dragon they possibly can become. And they're pretty much more than just battleborn dragons. They are literally the king of dragons when they're stage five. Like honestly, I don't think anyone can take on a stage five dragon and not die once, unless you have the best armor in the game, somewhere over there. Then you're gonna die. So yeah, in order to make dragon meal, you're gonna need at least crossbones of regular bones, and of course, just any meat, be it steak, I pick chicken in this case, and then you can make yourself dragon meal. Now, sometimes, if you actually keep dragon meal too long in the chest, you'll have a chance to get sickly dragon meal, which actually stunts the dragon's growth, so it's pretty much like coffee. Yeah, you didn't know it's coffee. Sounds good. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, even he agrees. Sanu, what do you think? Pixie, damn. Shut up, Pixie. So now that pretty much covers it, covers it for the stages of the dragons. Now let's finally go over something called dragon forging. Which dragon forging is a little bit more interesting. So once these dragons, when they become, you know, huge, huge dragons, they'll actually be a thing called dragon forging. Which dragon forging pretty much allows you to cook ingots in order to make fire, or not fire, no, God, Jesus, dragon steel. Now dragon steel is probably the hardest and strongest metal in this mod. And depending on which dragon steel you want, you're gonna have to make two different furnaces depending on which dragon steel you want. So in this case, let's say if I wanted fire dragon steel, which of course, you know, it's pretty cool. It's fire dragon steel. And once you make armor out of it, it gives you immunity against fire dragons. So if they try to breathe on you, you won't catch fire and you won't, won't die. But if you want to be immune to against, you know, the cold hard bitches being the ice dragon, no offense, 
nice. You're nice. You're better than them. You can be. So I think. You can also make ice dragon steel ingots, which of course you're gonna need two iron ingots for wherever, uh, or at least for these two iron, for these two dragon steel ingots to be made. And of course, the blood of dragons, depending on which dragon ingot you want. So if you want fire dragon steel, obviously fire dragon blood, ice dragon blood for ice dragon steel. Now, in order to get the blood, oh boy, let's do this. Let's just get this over with. Alas, I have found you with the power of my milf on the beach with a side of margarita and with a side of incendiary bullets. I challenge you, DRAGON! Ah! So, once you find yourself a dead dragon, all you need to simply do is right-click it with a bottle. And you get yourself ice dragon blood. And if you kill a fire dragon, ladies, gentlemen, children, you get yourself fire dragon blood. And of course, actually, when you find yourself a dead dragon, you can actually right-click it to harvest its goods. Even the bones, the scales, and depending how big the dragon is, you'll get more items out of it, too. But you always get one dragon skull. Now, oh, this was a stage 4. This thing was fucking huge. I thought this was a stage 5. So in order to make dragon forges, which are actually a little bit difficult at first, but once you actually get the hand of it, it's pretty easy from then on forth. Now, of course, this is the demonstration of how to make the fire dragon forge, but it's pretty much the same once you start replacing the fire dragon blocks with, of course, ice dragon blocks. So, of course, we have three blocks here that are going to be very important, which of course the Dragon Fire, or the Dragon Forge Fire Core, or Ice Core, if you're trying to make an Ice Forge. Dragon Forge Fire Bricks, which of course, for Fire, Fire Furnace. And then finally, the Fire Aperture, or the Ice Aperture, if you're trying to make whichever Dragon Furnace you want. So in this case, we're going to be making the Fire Dragon Forge, which is pretty much the same. All you need to do is replace the blocks like such. Well, not like that though, just like that. But. So the first step in order to make a dragon forge is what you're going to need to do is get the respective dragon forge blo uh, furnace blocks you want in a plus formation. And then finally, of course, block of dragon bones on the sides. And then you get yourself the first layer in order to- What the hell is that? What is that? Hey! Shoo! You're the problem! So the first layer, of course, forge blocks of dragon bones. And of course, uh, five pieces of dragon forge fire bricks or ice bricks and then you get yourself the first layer but of course in order to make block of dragon bones you're probably asking is of course you get yourself dragon bones and create how you would with a normal block a block of what the hell why why is everyone squawking you better not be sanu or you hippo i'll turn you into a coat and of course you want to make a dragon bone wall which is the same as making defense now, the next layer you're going to need to make here, of course, is, of course, have the Dragon Forge Fire Bricks or Ice Bricks surrounding both the Fire Core or Ice Core or the Fire Aperture or Ice Aperture. And in order to make these, or at least for the apertures, you're going to need four Dragon Fire or Dragon Forge Fire Bricks for the Fire Aperture, but of course, with Iron Ingots. And for the Ice one, is the same, except you're just going to need Ice Bricks. And for the... For the and of course for the fire core, which I don't know why it's giving me this. I want this fire core. I want the fire core. Get, get fire core. Dragons, you keep squawking, you're gonna turn into leather. And in order to make yourself the fire core, they, they really tested my patience. To make yourself the fire core or the ice core, depending on which dragon you've killed or which one you're making again. If you have an ice dragon heart, obviously you're gonna make yourself an ice dragon core. Or uh, 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 ice dragon forge core. And if you have, of course, if you're trying to make a fire one, you surround it with fire bricks. Ice if you're surrounding or ice or ice bricks if you're surrounding the ice dragon heart now now that we got that out of the way All you need to do at the last part is of course re just redo the last first or the redo the first layer And put it on top and then you get yourself the fire dragon forge Which is pretty much it once you're done It'll actually have these vents on the side that are animated too with animated textures it looks great And then if you right click it you'll notice that there's actually a little dragon insignia here along with an ingot slot and a bottle slot in which where you're gonna need to actually have a dragon that's at least stage three or at least enough to breathe fire and then you can put an iron ingot here and of course the bottle of the ice dragon blood or the fire dragon blood actually you can only put the fire dragon blood because this is of course a fire forge so you can't actually cross make or cross cross the bloods between two different dragons which sucks but allow me to demonstrate the power and usage of dragon forging, which of course you can make several different types of armors, of course, with this dragon forging technique. 
Alright. I don't know if this is the one that goes dumb and just starts flying around. So if he does, uh, forgive me. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. I haven't done this in a while. You better behave. Hey, girly. And now I'm about to right click and summon my dragon. Hey, buddy. You behaving? You're not running away like that. Oh, we still got a runner. Okay, this is the most misbehaved dragon. But so pretty much all you want to do is once you have the dragon forge made, you're going to need to chain him up by a, 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 dry, a dragon bone wall. You're really scaring the crap out of me. But once you do that, once he's near a fire forge, and once there's actually uh, an ingot, and of course they, uh, well, oh, there's fire dragon butter already. But let's say I have not Did he just destroy something? What did he just destroy? You're not destroy- Oh, he destroyed fire with his tail. Jesus Christ. All right, so here we go. So once you put iron ingots into the dragon forge and, of course, fire dragon blood, he will then start spraying! And I don't know if this actually will damage me. I actually want to see this. Does it damage me? No. Although the regular fire- Yeah, that will hurt. But him spraying and this- This is a- This, this is a strat. This is a little thing I taught him. I taught him actually how to spray in the opposite direction where he's actually supposed to be spraying. It's really cool. No dragon's ever done it before. Hey, look at that. He's heating it up, and now, soon we'll have ourselves some dragon fire steel. Or dragons, or, yeah, oh, that's right. Fire dragon steel, same thing. And then, now you can use this to craft any armor you so desire. Mainly just dragon steel armor, which is honestly the best armor out of the whole ice and fire mod. In my opinion, also. Alright, alright, you can stop now. And of course, we got the dragon horn, which of course you can use to... He doesn't want to get back inside. Hey, come down here. Ow, 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 ow. Of course, this is called the dragon horn. Now, the dragon horn, it's, what, why? Wait, dragon horn, how you make it is you need four dragon bones and, of course, a stick in this formation, and you get yourself the dragon horn. And what this does, it simply just puts them and encases them inside the dragon horn. If you want to release them, all you need to do is hold right click, and, of course, your dragon will come back out. But if you want to take your dragon back in the horn, all you need to do is right click the dragon, and he's back in the horn. It's kind of, it's kind of like a little pokeball for the dragon. I mean, if you have a dragon like mine, then you'll go nuts. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, John! <laughs>